Welcome to our updated review of Squarespace. Squarespace has built an all-new version from the ground up to accommodate new photo gallery options and responsive templates that are compatible with different screen sizes, such as smartphones or tablet devices. But that's not all. Let's log in and see what the new interface looks like. Now there are a few things that are not very intuitive at first. I will do my best to explain all of the things that I found a bit tricky to understand to give you a head start. The Website Editor When you log in, this is what you'll see. It shows your navigation and content on each site. It's important to note that you don't see the full page with your actual layout. To get the complete view, you need to click the eye icon. Here is our preview. Let's go back now. We've heard different opinions of how an editor should display a website. Some people love the reduced view that you can see here because it's uncluttered and lets the user entirely concentrate on the content side of things. Other people prefer to see the full layout of the website while adding content. This is the most common view used among competing website builders. In the end, it comes down to personal preference, of course. Using the editor is as easy as it gets. Simply click an existing element in order to change it. Click Add Block to add new elements to your website. You can add slick tools like this slideshow, a contact form, or showcase your activity on social media platforms like Instagram, Twitter, and Foursquare. You can also add elements that will appear on all your pages. For this, first change to preview mode again and click the plus icon in your side column or in the footer area. Let's now add a search bar to our side column. If you want to change the settings for your page, click here. Now you can set up how your page appears in the navigation by adding a page title here. Be sure to add a meta description and define how the page's URL will be displayed. The latter three items are important for your search engine optimization, an area where Squarespace certainly has done everything right. Back to preview mode. You will also have to get familiar with this black overlay bar. To get to the main view, click the X. Now you have three options, edit content, change the style, or go to settings. Styles and templates. Let's have a look at our style options. This menu allows you to adjust the finer details of your site. For example, you can easily change colors, fonts, or increase the width of your website. If you know some CSS, you can also add custom code. We are now going to change our template. For this, we need to enter settings and then choose templates. At this time, the number of templates is quite limited, although the ones available do look great. They are divided into blog and portfolio designs. To enable a new template, we first preview it and then click Enable. Conclusion by creating this all-new website builder, Squarespace certainly made a brave decision. Their focus has shifted entirely to portfolio websites and blogs. The learning curve is a bit steeper compared to other website builders. However, if you're planning to get your portfolio or a blog online, you can expect a product tailored to your needs. The usability is not perfect, at least not yet. When setting up your website, you'll be jumping back and forth from the content view to preview mode which we felt took away from the otherwise smooth workflow. But once everything is set up, you'll most likely be only using the content manager, and this is where the fun really starts. It's hard to give a general verdict on Squarespace. There are definitely easier website builders out there, but do they offer the same possibilities? Probably not. If you ever get stuck, you can expect a very fast response from their support team. They even offer instant live chat support. If all of this sounds interesting to you, sign up for their free 14-day trial. I would love to see you on WebsiteToolTester.com for more website builder reviews. 
And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate if you could like it on Facebook or YouTube. Thank you.